Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jarvis calling on this good old Monday morning. I I wanna I wanna say something. I wanna address something real quick. We gonna talk real quick about about these customers that are try to tell you how to run your business. Because I just said it before. If you don't run your business, these customers will. Y'all hold on, bear with me. I gotta get out of this hole. It's a little tight at the end of this street. But anyway, I got a couple of stores. I got Buku stores now. But uh shoot. Turn that radio down. I got I got Buku stores, but anyway, man, I, I just met this man, nice older lady, 90 years old, get around good. She talked and talked and talked, you know, and I, I know she. You know, most of the time when it's older people like that, they ain't got many people they could talk to. So, you know, I let her talk. And she want, she she used to own a big print company. And uh she got it's it's like four lots, like three or four lots put together. It ain't bad, but uh it's open. But anyway, long story short, the way I charge, I do I keep the property up year round. So I told her I could keep the property up year round. For five hundred and sixty dollars, and I know she older lady. I knew the price was gonna be a little issue because because she older, and you know prices used to be cheap. And she ain't had no 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 legit uh, lawn care company keeping her property up. So she so she called me and want me to keep it up. Like I don't know. I ain't gonna say how what she wanted uh, me to do or how she wanted it done, but she wanted to. Oh, what if we got it cut uh, less times and bring the price down? Or what if we did it like on call? I call you a week ahead of time. Listen, listen, as nice as you is, as sweet as you are, I can't do it. We got to set these standards, man, and we got to we gotta stick to it. We can't let customers, no matter how we feel about somebody, we can't let our emotions and our feelings get caught up in our business no matter how we feeling man we gotta we gotta stick to the rules and stuff that we set once you set those rules you put them in stone and you hold them now i actually took a i i was actually doing it just a little bit cheaper not a lot but just a little bit cheaper than i normally would <clears throat> you know just to try to help out and stuff like that but she got money she got money i promise she do but anyway, she didn't want to. She didn't want to go through it, and she, you know, said it was night meeting you and all this stuff. But that's just one instance. Then another guy, he called me, uh, wanted me to do a little most job for him. You know, cool, okay, I'll come do the most job for you. And uh, he say uh, he had the cheap moats. That cheap moats like pine bark, like bark. That's all it is. It rained, the moats just float, and it float away in the water. I'll, just trash moats. I don't put that down. That's what he had down. So I told him, you know, I'm going to get a better mulch, a good quality, like top quality mulch, and it's going to be good mulch. Well, I got some good mulch, man, beautiful mulch. He said, oh, it looked like dirt. Uh, we might have to replace it. Listen, man, uh, pay me the money, and that's it. If you want to replace it, it's going to be another price. But all I want to point out is these folks will try anything in the world, man, anything, to try to go against the grain. See, and a lot of people will try to sell you on different stuff. People will try to, you know, make it seem like lawn care is just super easy and, and all this is just roses and rainbows. It ain't. It ain't. You're going to have to grind. It's going to be tough. It's gonna be some uh, long, tired, weary days. And man, you're gonna run into a lot of people that, like my boy Mike say, cheapskates. They don't wanna, you know, follow the rules. They don't, they wanna try to dictate and run your business. Wanna try to tell you how you need to charge, when you need to come. You know, we, we have to already have those rules. And like I told her, I, she said, uh, what if I call you? I said, as much as I wanna help you, the thing about you calling me when you get ready, I ain't gonna be available because I'm gonna have all my original customers 
already right there on go. You know, I'm going to have them on schedule. I can't just pull up to you whenever you get ready for me and whenever you want me to pull up. I can't do that because I'm booked up. And some of y'all might say, man, you don't be working that much. You right. Cause, and when I ain't working, I still ain't got time for it. Because even more I ain't got time for it because now I'm with my family. Now I'm chilling with my family. I also told her if I if I was able to come and do a, a one-time service for you, it's going to be a lot more. And I still right now can't give you no price on that because when you call me, I don't know what state the property going to be in. Listen, man. We in business for ourselves to be profitable. We in business for ourselves to make money. We in business for ourselves so we can call the shots, you know, so we can set the standards and set the rules so we can do this thing how we want to do it. We don't open up a business so uh, Miss Susie or whoever, so Miss Susie can tell us, you know, how she want us to do it or when she want us to do it. There's some people out there, man, they cheap. I promise you, they cheap. They got plenty of money. They can they can all uh, pay you to do something, but they don't want to pay you. You know what I'm saying? They they don't they don't respect you as a business owner, you know, to go out working hard and making money. They don't respect you for that. I didn't even try to sell this property no more. I didn't push for it no more. Because after 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 you give somebody their price and, and then they have to go back back and forth with your old well, what about this? And trying to negotiate. Once that negotiation come in, I don't want it no more because that negotiation create a whole different uh, relationship between you and that customer. And then later on down the line, I promise you, they're going to be looking for something to say. They Something going to come up and they're going to be looking for something to say. I'm looking for them people that call me out, say, hey, this is what I got, you know, um, Okay, this how I do payment. This how I do my services. I'm here every every Tuesday, you know, around this time or whatever. When, when once I say it like that, they say, okay, that sounds good. That sounds perfect. You know, just let me know what it's gonna be, and then I give them that price and, and everything good. Them the ones I'm looking for. Once you trying to go back and forth with me, you know, explaining stuff, trying to negotiate with me, talking about your money situation. Hey, look, that ain't got nothing to do with me. These people will run your business. They will control how you work. They will control where you work, when you work, how you work, and why you work. They'll control it if you let them. Don't let nobody control your business and run your business. Because if you don't control it, if you don't run your business, they'll run it for you.